I'm at the pet shop. The pet shop owner said this rabbit is quite a common representative of many rabbits with pointed nose. Okay, now we show the pointed nose. Side view. Mm. Side view. Side view, the nose is really pointed. Actually, they look like rhinoceros growing a horn. And uh, the other view. We turn the other view. And it's indeed, this one really has pointed nose. You have a picture of the others? You have any pictures of previous ones? Now, if you look closely at the rabbit, it's crusty actually, it's crusted. Huh? And uh, not only the nose, if you look carefully, the eyes also is, is crusted. Uh, and then the ears, the edges of the ears are crusted, very badly crusted. Okay, and then the, the paws, see the paws? Are they crusted? Paws are crusted. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational videos sponsored by Toapayo Vets. In Singapore, a country with highly dense population and vibrant economic growth, owning a pet is no longer a difficult thing. However, it is important to ensure that the healthy of the pets is taken care of. Sarcoptic mange in rabbits What is sarcoptic mange? It is an intensely pruritic, highly contagious, parasitic skin disease caused by sarcoptic mites. This disease is commonly known as scabies. Diagnosis This rabbit is a Netherlands dwarf, one-year-old male, sent in with a complaint of having scabies all around its face, ears and paws, and having a pointed nose. The back view, the back view normally not, not much affected. But if it's uh, too long, the whole body will be crusty. Okay, now we look at the ventral view. Ventral means upside down. Uh. Normally, the ventral side is not badly affected unless the rabbit licks the area and transmits the, the scabies mites. Normally, it's a scabies. Now, this case is about 90% scabies subject to microscopic examination of the crust. Now you can see the, the scrotal area, is it affected? Yes. Scrotal area is affected with crustiness. Okay, do you see the mouth, the mouth, the, below the chin? Is there anything? The chin. Never mind, slowly, slowly. Anything under the chin? Yeah, there is. You, you got a photo of the, the other two? Let me see. Didn't have one. Okay, so go back to the side view again. Side view. Put the rabbit on the side again. Okay, you see the paws again, huh? The paws. The four paws. Show me the paws, yeah. Is it crusty? Yeah. Mm. So scabies might thrive in, in uh, the periphery of the body because it's cooler there. So that's why you see them on the paws, on the nose, on the ears, two ears, and on the eyelids. And uh, these are the favorite spots of scabies, mite infestation, but they do spread all over the body. That, that, that comes later. Evidence Microscopic examination. Under the microscopic examination, the sarcoptic mites are seen. Thus, the wet confirmed that it has scabies. Life cycle of a sarcoptic mite. These mites burrow into the skin and lay their eggs in this tunnel, which will hatch into larva in 3 to 4 days. After another 3 to 4 days, the larva molts into a nymph before a final molt into an adult mite. The whole life cycle of the mite is only 2 to 3 weeks. Causes Now, the, the reason for all this widespread crust is due to no treatment being given. And uh, treatment is a bit more complicated. The owner had brought it to a vet, but the vet uh, either didn't treat it effectively or misdiagnosed it as not uh, scabies. And because the crust was all over the, the body, the, the ears, and it was so thick that uh, most vets may, may not have seen it. Treatment. To treat the rabbit, it was first given an ivermectin injection of 0.2 ml subcutaneously. The weight of this rabbit is 750 gram, 
so the suitable dosage should be 0.02 ml, but the vet decided to inject 10 times more due to the severe condition. Next, it was also given a betrayal injection of 0.2 ml subcutaneously. It was left for 7 days under observation. After the 7 days period, it was bathed in an antifungal shampoo to kill off the fungi on the skin. Alternative Treatment Other medicines that can be used to treat scabies are selamectin, milbamycin, doramectin, amid rust dip, and line sulfur dip. Outcome On day 1 of treatment, the crusts were all around the rabbit's ear edges, nose, eyelids, and paws. Day 9 of treatment 25th of July 2018, Wednesday. Today is 9th day of the hospitalization and treatment. Today, uh, one of the scabs from the ear is dropped off. This one is the scabs from the ears. And then there is no more scabs on the face, on the sides of the nose, and also on the eyes. There is also no scabies on the ventral parts of the body. Day 21 of treatment. Uh, so today you can see after the injection of ivermectin at uh, 0 0.2 ml subcutaneous uh, ivermectin, you can see that uh, the crustiness of the ears, show the ears where is the pointer. The ear is no more crusty. The ear edges, no more crusty, hold the rabbit. And then the eyelids, left and right also, no more crusty. Eyelids, the eyelids, eyelids. The nose, the nose, the pointed nose is no more. It's a normal shaped nose with some hair growing. Then the paws, the four paws, okay. The crustiness has gone from the paws and the scrotum also. The crustiness is gone. If you see the other early on images, okay. The tail uh, is, is no more crusty as well. There was a fracture of the tail early on. So part of it is amputated. Where is the tail now? Yeah, yeah, okay. This is the tail. Now, the important thing to check is. Any more crustiness in the ear, the edges? Have a bit. Where is it? Yeah, that is surprising unless the, the, the mice come back again. Any other place with crust? How about the, the paws? Yeah, still have a bit. Yeah? Mm, nail. So, so it, it, it didn't really kill all the mites. We ever do the we will do the nail clipping so where's the crust any crustiness oh this is a nail huh? how about the skin check the skin and see Wait. Have that, uh, had... yeah so i will give another injection 0 0.2 uh, i will maintain subcutaneously and uh, Normally, two injections are recommended. Yeah. Day 23 of treatment. Today is 30 August 2018. Today is day 23 of the treatment with ivermectin. Okay. This one year old male Netherlands ref rabbit came in with scabies. Now, you look at the day one. Now, day one, as you can see, there's a, there's a lot of crust on the nose. So the pet shop owner said this was a, a new disease because she says that the rabbit suffering from this skin disease has a pointed nose and it's actually it's a crusty nose huh? which you can see from this uh, image. Then not only crust on the nose, you look at the eyelids area, see whether you can enlarge it. The eyelids area, you can see the crust there, you see? It's full of crust as well, the eyelids on the up and lower eyelids. On, on the right side and left side, but we are showing the right side. Then the ear, the edge of the ear, you, you can uh, enlarge it a bit. You can see really the, the edges are taken with very thick crust, we call it now. And the pores, 
and you just go down to the paws. Paws, you can see the toes are really filled with crust, and uh, it's really bad. This is day one. Uh. Then the back, the paws are at the back, no need the front, the back paws, uh, which you can't see clearly now. But uh, it's crust. Okay, now we turn the now we look at this rabbit now. This is day 23 after ivermectin injection. The first one was done day 23 days ago. Okay, now we start with the nose again. Now you can see the nose is definitely back to, to normal. The crust have dropped off. So there's no more we need no more crustiness, no more pointed nose. Show that the nose is has a normal skin. Okay. Now we go to the eyelids on the right hand side first. Now eyelids, you can see really is clear off crust and the hair has grown back. This is 23 days of the treatment, you see the hair has grown back. And now we look at the ear, the right ear, the edges. Huh? The crust has really dropped off after the injection. With the injection it wouldn't drop off. That's why it was more crusty over the months. Okay, so then we look at the paws. That's the paw, just put it down, standing. Look at the paws. You see the hair has grown back, and uh, you can see there's no crustiness on the toes. Uh, normally, it compared just on the toes, crustiness, crusty. Yeah? Then the other side, you just part, part the hair and see the hair. Just put it down so they can focus. Uh. Put down, put down, put down. You can see the hair has grown back and there is no crust. Okay, now we look at the, the other side. You hold the, the other side. Now, to turn up again. Now, this image shows day 5 of treatment. Huh? Day 5 of treatment, actually the crust in the nose had already fallen out already. Just focus on the nose. Yeah. You see the crust has already dropped off. Huh? But there is still a bit left. But the eyelid, definitely, there is no more crust there because the mice have died after the ivermectin injection and by the the years the crust is still there uh, this one is very obvious it's very thick oh, this side and then the posterior the, the front and back cranial uh, the edges are all crusty you can see uh. okay then the toes eh? the left front paw can't see much because of the the positioning but it's crusty the other side the back one the back but you can see some crust has already dropped off. Huh? We need to clip the nails because the owner didn't do any grooming. The owner abandoned this rabbit to the pet shop owner. Pet shop owner gave to me to treat free of charge. Yeah. So this is the treatment now. Okay, now we look at this rabbit on the which side is it? The left side. Okay, let's look at the nose again. Let's see. Day 23 of treatment, just use a hand will do it. Yeah. Hand lift up, you can see there's no more crustiness of the nose, in fact it's very clean. The eyelid is definitely very clean and the ear edges, no, and no crust at all, huh? no inflammation. Then we look at the pores, you can see that uh, the hair has grown back, it's not crusty anymore and then the other paw. Okay, now we look at the front. Okay, we show the front day one again. We look at the image day one, the front, uh, and uh, you can see. Although this day five, but basically the no, the, the nose crust had, had dropped off. The eyelid is okay, clear, but the the, the ears with the thick. Crusted edges are still there. Eh? This day five. Okay, now we look at day twenty-three. The front of the rabbit. Eh? Just hold the rabbit and then the front only. You can see a lot of difference. Eh? The nose definitely is clean. The eye, the the eyelids are clean. The ears, eh? check. Is it crusty? Yeah. No, you can see it's not crusty. Eh? It's quite clean. Okay, now we look at the belly, the stomach, the belly side. Now early on, you can see the scrotal area was crusty, eh? but now you can see it's clean. So there's no irritation and no pain. Okay, look at the neck, the chest. 
the chest looks much better now. The chest, the sternum. Oh, slowly. Okay. You look at the chest. Overall, it was a ninety percent or ninety nine percent recovery. An injection of Ivo Mac zero point two ml was given on day twenty one, and uh, that was two days ago. So normally, with two injections, the rapi should recover fully. In summary, on day one of treatment, scapes were on ear edges, nose, eyelids, and paws. Ivermectin injection and Betro injection were given. On day nine, the rabbit was bathed in an antifungal shampoo and escapes from ear edges dropped off. On day 21, there was still a little crust on ear edges. The vet gave an Ivermectin injection of 0.2 ml subcutaneously. On day 23, there's no more scapes on his body and the rabbit is 99% cured. Other cases. Here are the links to other similar cases of skin diseases on rabbits, cats, and dogs. Consequences If left untreated, scabies can spread easily to other animals. Furthermore, scabies is genetic, meaning that this disease can spread to people as well. Conclusion Anybody interested in adopt, adopting this rabbit, let, let us know. Adopt by your vets. So we will close the case now. And uh, this shows that ivermectin is effective. Has the treatment for rabbits. Normally two injections. The dosage, we will have to have the correct dosage. Otherwise, it won't be effective. So we will conclude with the dosage based on 0.2 ml and the Calculation to be done. We have now come to the end of the video. Credits to the wets Dr. Singh and Dr. Daniel, as well as wet assistant Judy and Sue. For more information, feel free to contact Toa by Your Wets. You can also email to us via Judy at toabyourwets.com or visit our website at toabyourwets.com. Thank you for watching.